Hey everyone, I, I'm here with Neil deGrasse Tyson, renowned astrophysicist and host of uh, the popular Star Talk. Um, and, you know, we're here on the occasion of just these fantastic images that have been taken by the James Webb Telescope of, of our universe. So do you want to just jump into VR? Let's do that. Good. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is the this iconic photo. So what has this all told us about the universe that we didn't already know? It's opening a window to the universe that we didn't previously have access to. So for me, the future of the, the James Webb Space Telescope is not what questions it can answer that we've already posed. It's what questions it will answer that we don't yet know to ask. Yeah, I mean, this is this, I think, has really captured people's imagination and has been, been awesome. All right, so what are we looking at here? OK, where do I begin? There are galaxies in the universe that are nearby other galaxies. They feel each other's gravity and they fall towards one another. What they're really doing is colliding. This is called Stefan's Quintet. This is pretty wild. Oh, yes. Oh, and so is... now this is the gas sloughed off in the dying stages of a star. And the, the, the bit of light you see in the middle is the sort of leftover star once it's given up its outer layers. And I happen to know that the energy being emitted by that star in the middle is actually quite hostile to human physiology. It's very high in ultraviolet light, which would be huh. bad for you. So if you want to be a tourist of the universe, have like different levels of sunscreen available <laughs> to you in the cabinet <laughs> so that you can get close to stuff that would otherwise fry your DNA. The SPF so, 2000? Yeah, or more, okay, more higher. I've got that. I've got you got that. that. You got from, that. I wear it from time to time. <laughs> All right. So we're, we're in space. This is this is a spacewalk. And I, I do, before we just jump into talking about what's going on here, I just want to give um, one quick plug that we're going to be working with NASA to live stream in VR the launch of the new Artemis that's going on. Excellent. So Excellent. That's, so that's going to be an exciting thing. But... Can you explain, like, what, what, are we, what are we looking at? So what we see is segments of the space station, and we see some of our fellow astronauts there. What's going on is this entire structure and the astronauts, everything is falling towards the Earth. We we'll wave to the astronauts. We're also moving sideways at five miles per second. The point is we are falling towards the Earth at the same rate that Earth's curved surface is curving away from us and so everybody's in free fall at all times well now we get to look towards earth and so yes. right now we're transitioning out of daylight into earth darkness and at that speed of five miles per second 18 17 18 thousand miles an hour you orbit the earth you see 18 sunrises and sunsets a day huh. 18 a day should we head back to our space station yeah let's do that Cool. And I'm curious what you're, you know, what would you think of this whole experience? We have visual data on the universe and probably in other sciences that any place you hadn't gone before because you, you couldn't, or you just would read about it. If you get to go inside, I, I don't see why that wouldn't be the next best thing. So, yeah. I mean, I'm really interested in the kind of where this helps take education. I think for imagining things at this kind of scale, the universe or transporting to other places, I mean, I just think this is gonna give people way more opportunities. Yeah, I think the, the applications are limitless, clearly. Awesome. All right, well, this has been super fun. Thank you for, for doing this. Okay, Mark, it's great great to meet you. No. Fist bump, yeah, fist right. bump, there you go. Good, you got All right. it. All right, dude. All right.